In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Tascam US2400 in Reaper. If you have ever wondered how to set up your Tascam US2400 or really any DAW controller in Reaper, this video will show you exactly how to do it. All right, so the first thing you see is we have the faders on the screen. And when I move a fader on the board, it doesn't do anything. So we have to go into our preferences and set up our DAW controller. I'm going to hit command comma, and this will bring up our Reaper preferences. What you want to do is go down to plugins, control OSC web, click, and then we're going to add. Now we're going to choose our DAW controller from the drop down list. And I do not see a Tascam US2400 anywhere here. So what we're going to simply do is click on Mackie Control Universal. And we notice we have our US2400 show up in the list and we have five different ports. So we're going to choose port one for the in and port one for the out. And we're going to press OK. So now you see our faders jump for the first eight faders. But how do we get the other faders to work? Well, we need to press add. And now we're going to choose Mackie control extender. We're going to go down to port two. And we're going to press OK. Now you can see the second bank jumps into position. Let's do one for the third. Mackie control extender. Port three. And watch this. Bam, we have our third one. Let's keep going to accommodate all the different ports. So this is gonna be port four. And let's go ahead and do port five. Okay, now with this set up, I want you to notice something very important. If I move this first fader, look what happens. We're actually moving fader nine and fader 17. Now that's not what we want because we actually want each set of eight to be independent from each other. So how do we actually go about doing that? Well, we have to realize that there is a surface offset tracks. The first eight is set to zero that means the second eight and the third eight need to be extensions of eight. So what we're actually going to do is go to our first extension and our surface offset is going to be eight. And now when I press OK, look what happens. See the faders change. So now we have a true one through eight and a nine through 16. Let's do the same thing for the last bank of eight. Now we have eight on this one, so our offset for this is gonna be 16. Watch the faders. Now those faders move, okay? Let me bank over one. Okay, port four is gonna be an offset of 24. Press OK. And then the last one is going to be an offset of 32. So be sure to subscribe down below and click the bell so you'll be notified when I release videos just like this. Till next time, I'm Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.